Hey guys, another Amazon package came. I'm constantly getting Amazon packages. So, I uh, was sent this from a uh, sponsor. They wanted me to uh, try this camera out and give a review. Um, it's a perfect camera for uh, anybody, adult, kids, anyone that uh, can use a cheap and expensive camera. It is uh, inexpensive, but it's still 44 megapixels, uh, full HD, uh, 44 megapixels, uh, 1080p, has both video record as well as photo record, has like supposedly some sort of beauty face, face detection, um, 16 times the zoom. So it comes in a nice little case. It comes in two different colors. Um, it comes in like, as you can see, two different colors, or actually it looks like it comes in several different colors. Just I know on Amazon it only had uh, two colors available. So check this out. Oh, that's small. So what's great about this is it's inexpensive. So if you drop it, damage it, it's kind of like, eh, whatever. You know, give it to whoever, give it to a kid, give it to your clumsy friend that's trying to get into photography to just learn how to take photos with like a cheap and expensive camera. Someone's trying to get into blogging or YouTubing. Uh, supposedly you can also use this as a face cam. So it comes with a 32 gig memory card and the case. And then it comes with two, not one, but two rechargeable batteries, which is awesome because if you forget to uh, change it out, you, you have a spare. If you charge one, leave one on the charger while you use the other one. That's pretty cool. And then obviously the USB-C, here's the plug, a plug, USB, and then you have your USB-C charging cable to charge the charge it and uh, comes with a manual as well and then here's your manual so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna charge the battery if it's not already charged in the next video you see it's gonna be from the camera I'm also gonna take some pictures of my dogs do some filming around the house um, let's see how durable this is um, cause it feels kind of sturdy for like a small, this thing's so small. Like, I mean, look at the, the, the size of my hand. Like it's very small. It's smaller than my, it's smaller than my cell phone. It's like half the width of my, my iPhone. So it's, it's pretty, pretty small. So, uh, next video you see is from this and let's check out the video quality from this. Hi. Hi. Not sure how the audio is going to be on this. So cute. Hey, Pap. Hi. A messy house right now. And then you can hear Kirby in the background, maybe. Not sure where the microphone for this is. But check it out. Hi. Hi. Yeah, the lighting's not very bright in here, but we just wanted to show you an example of it being recorded. Alright, so the camera, when you turn it on, it says welcome. And then, so what's really interesting about it is it has all these settings. So you have your zoom in, your zoom out, and then you have your flash, which is not really flash. It just turns the light on and off, which is kind of neat in a way, I don't know, it doesn't really flash when you take pictures, it's kind of weird. Um, then you have your different options from photo to multi-photo. So you have your different options. Multi is like five megapixel only it looks like. And then I have it set to 44. So by default, it's only uh, five megapixels. You actually have to like go into the settings and you have to change it to 44 megapixels because by default it's only five. But then if you look, it has all these different options that you can scroll through from like anti-shake to, you know, face detection to 
It has all this different stuff like smile capture um, and then it has all these different options of like black and white or red to like change the look of the, the photo, the video itself. Languages is like English, Spanish, Portugal, French, like it's a ton of different languages. I have the date off but you can actually set like the date and time so like the photo will actually show the date and time. You can have it set to automatically power off so if someone else is like, you know, using it and playing around with it all the time and they, they have a habit of forgetting to turn it off, you can set it to automatically like turn off after a couple minutes. You can actually change the frequency. I'm not sure why you would want to do this. I'm not a photographer. We can change it from 60 to 50 hertz, but that's it. You only have 50 and 60, not lower like 30 or 20 or any other. The sound effects of when you turn the camera on and off, you can have that on or off. Like, so it does that, uh, like the hello, goodbye. Um, you can format the whole memory card without having to put it into your computer, which is kind of a nice feature. And then you can reset it back to all the default settings, which is also a nice feature. So that's the main things with it. Like I said, it starts at five megapixel and then you have to set it to the 44. So I'm going to show you right here. Here's a photo that is the five megapixel because I did not realize the change. And then here's the difference. Here's a 44 megapixel. Mind you, all of these are inside my house. It's not the best lighting. So um, the photos outside are are better. Um, I just didn't I take take that many. It was kind of bright out like in a way that like I couldn't find a good spot. But um, it, it's it's good. I mean, it's for what, you, what you're paying, this, this works. And my daughter actually wanted this camera. She, she keeps wanting me to finish the review of this because check it out and has a little music and then it goes goodbye so my daughter actually wants this camera because she wants a vintage look this does give like a different look for photography that can actually be really cool really unique especially like the red and the sephora i, I, I don't know if i'm saying that correctly or not but it has different um looks to it in in the graininess can actually be kind of like cool, unique photos, especially if you're taking like, she takes photo lays of like different stuff and, and it's really neat. So that's everything. Um, I like it, um, especially for the value and, and you don't have to worry about it. You just give it to somebody, like buy it as a gift. Like example, friends having a wedding, you just, hey, give this and like give it, let, pass it around for people to take tons of pictures of it. And then if something happens to the camera, who cares? It's not, it's not expensive. Give it to a kid, give it to, you know, some young teenager that, you know, doesn't treat a high-end camera very well. Like, I have a bunch of high-end cameras. So, this is just an extra little, like, you just leave it in your car. And if you ever get in an accident, you need to take photos. And now you have a camera. And it comes with two batteries. So, that's everything. Like, I'm, I'm actually uh, checking out and doing the video editing right now. So, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, what do you think? And uh, what do you think? think uh and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and uh check out whatever other videos youtube recommends to you and uh take care hopefully you uh like my review it, it shows you exactly how the camera records and everything like that so that's the quality that you're gonna get thank you bye